Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today I'll be checking out some of your levels. This first one's called the Wiggler Wave. Let's go ahead and start it up. Be sure to post your course IDs in the comments below for a chance to be in the next video. All right, so here we go. Instead of the usual Blue Skull platform waves, we have Wiggler Waves this time. They look really awesome. I love the wave type levels. I love how it gets a weird 3D effect kind of going as they cross paths. This is really tricky. Starting to get the hang of it. This is not my first run through this one. So if I beat it this time, it took me a few tries to get the timing of this down. Yes, we made it to a checkpoint. That's good news. Some of those are really hard to make it by. So far, this has been a blast. Okay, so we got some more waves to go. This is really cool, definitely fun. Seems like I'm getting the mechanics of it down a little bit better now that I've been playing this level for a little bit here. Once you get the mechanics, it's definitely a little easier to do. This seems easier than the first section so far. Oh, dang it. <laughs> There we go. Second section is definitely easier than the first section. Now we get to walk by the giant Wiggler pixel art, which is really cool. And that's the end of the level. I love the cactuses you made. I really think the Wigglers worked great for a wave level. That was definitely a lot of fun and definitely a good challenge as well. Great job on that. Great way to start this episode. All right, up next we have the Destroyed Castle. Only one completion so far, but not that many people have played it. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. Interesting. Glad I didn't go up there. I would have got smashed by a thwomp. There we go. Steal your cloud. More thwomps. Gigantic boost circle. And we got a checkpoint up here as well. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Let's take a different route this time. There we go, we finished the level. All right, interesting level. I like some of the design, like the vines hanging down from the blocks. One part was a little confusing how I went back to where I already been. And there's a couple little trollish spots, some off-screen thwomps and stuff like that. But overall, pretty good time. All right, up next we have Mario Party 6 Lift Leapers. Let's start it up. So I'm going to imagine this will be kind of like a mini game that you would see in Mario Party, maybe? So far, pretty easy. I like the theme of only using the little uh, platforms on tracks. It looks pretty cool. Imagining that each one will get a little trickier. Hmm. 
So it's probably a recreation of a Mario Party 6 uh, game. I don't think I've ever played Mario Party 6. So I don't know if it's a recreation, but it might be. Mario 1. Cool. Yeah, so I imagine this is probably a recreation of a mini game off of Mario Party 6. So it's kind of hard for me to judge how well you did on the recreation. But I did like the theme and I thought it was pretty fun. Go ahead and give you a star and let's move on. All right, up next we have a hard level for Sunny BTG. I appreciate the shout out. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. Let's take the top route. Oops. A lot of wigglers. Ooh, another power up. Checkpoint and another power up. Seems like you can get hit a lot here. It doesn't really matter. Which makes the level actually not that hard since you can just keep collecting power ups. Ooh, Bowser fight. Okay. Again, this is pretty easy since you can get as many uh, fire flowers as you need, it looks like. Alright, so Bowser's dead. Jeez. Now we got a pipe. And the end of the level, interesting. All right. So if you're gonna make a really hard level, I'd recommend not giving out so many power-ups as it doesn't really make it hard. You can pretty much just take a bunch of hits and keep collecting them. But I appreciate the BTG shout out and I had a good time playing through your level. All right, for the last one for today, we have Mario's Vengeance level four improved. Looks like the only other person to beat it's Ryu Car, fellow YouTuber, really cool guy. Let's see if I can be the second to beat it. All right, so here we go. Looks like we got a ghost house with some coin collecting to do. Hmm, let's take this thwomp up and see what's up here. We got a Bowser Jr. there. Not sure if I'm supposed to do anything with him. And it looks like somehow we got a key and Bowser Jr. must have killed himself somehow. That might have just broke your level. Sorry about that. Let's go through the door first. We got two paths. Uh, let's see what's in that question mark block. Might be a bad idea. So we have superstar, coin, and a P switch. A lot of wrenches everywhere. That should make everything a little easier. Continuing on. Oh, a lot going on here. Oh, I'm getting another superstar. Let's just go through the door. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just keep trying tunnels until we can figure out which pipe to go through. Having Yoshi should make all this a little easier. There we go. Just eat the hammer, bro. Oh, crap. Was scary we got a locked door and the end of the level all right cool <laughs> i think i got a little lucky on this one but i'll take it definitely a cool level uh, looks like there was multiple routes multiple keys to find so kind of like a traditional ghost house pretty cool i'd be interested to explore a little more and see what else there was in store but it looks like i chose one of the probably easier routes good job all right well that will conclude the levels for today 
Be sure to post your course ideas in the comments below for a chance to be in the next video. Until next time, I'll see you around.